Okay, so I'm getting ready to open uh, NES World Championship. Uh, so here it is. That's the front of it. And that's the back of it. Now this is the deluxe uh, version, so it's a little bit more. But it comes with some cool stuff here. See what we got here so you got the game of course 13 different NES you got a replica Nintendo gold cartridge looks like which actually seems like pretty good quality it actually Seems similar to what you would have got back in the day. Um, and then, let's see. I was considering just leaving it in the box because it would be worth more someday, obviously. But I figured, you know what? So many people have bought these anyway. It's probably not going to be worth that much anyway. Because um, a lot of people have switches, you know. So probably a lot of these sold, I would guess. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, I gotta figure out how to open it. Maybe like right there. Uh -oh. I'm gonna rip it. I think it's already ripping a little bit. Okay, so these are probably the, looks like the cards. Well, these are actually pretty big. I didn't expect them to be that big. Got Super Mario Bros. You got Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. You got Metroid. Uh, Donkey Kong, of course. The original. I think there was actually an arcade one before that, but... Then you got this one here. Um, then you got Super Mario Bros. 2. They don't really... I mean, they have a little picture on the back. But the main part is what I'm showing you. Excite Bike. Alright, Ice Climbers. Uh, let's see, Balloon Fight. And then probably the best NES game, although I still like the original Mario a lot too. There we go, Super Mario Bros. 3. Link. And that's the second one, I believe. That's, what did they call it? The Adventures of Link. And then, of course, the Lost Levels, which I actually just bought the Wii version because i don't have the lost levels but this doesn't include the full games this only includes certain levels i believe so yeah so you got that and then uh let me see here i like how they everything's in like a nice plastic too um let's see. and it's like got that sticky kind of that sticky coating that sealed it you know at least I know nobody opened this before, you know, but I guess it was sealed still, so I already basically knew that, but. Alright, so this is uh, the pins. You get that. Um, let's see. This should be coming off, I would think. Let me see. Okay, so then. Here's the pins. So you got, uh, what, Zelda, you got Mario, Donkey Kong, um, what's that other one? Metroid, it looks like, and then Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool set. Um, so the game is like 30 bucks, $30. And then if you get the deluxe, um, which there's not too many, um, the Montrose Walmart had a few of them. 
I bought one, um, but there's probably not that many left out there, I would guess, because this game's been out a couple months, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, I would check it out because for 30 bucks more, you get um, all the cards, you get the, the pins, and then you get the um, cartridge, which again, does not work in the Nintendo Entertainment System, the original NES system. It doesn't work in there. There's no hardware in there. Like, there's, there's nothing that would play a game inside. It's just uh, basically for for looks and for collecting, so. And then I thought there was a little stand in there, too. Oh, yeah, I think... Looks like it's in the bottom of there. But there's a little, there's a little stand in there for the NES cartridge, um, from what I've heard, and it looks like something else is in the box still. But I think we took everything out, um... It basically says you get the pins, the art cards, which are pretty good size. I'm mean, I'm really impressed with the size of those. I thought they were just little, like little football cards, but they're a lot bigger than that. Uh, then you get the repu replica um, game cartridge, and then obviously the game. So, uh, not bad for sixty bucks. I would probably say, um, you know, it's definitely worth. Um, the 30 bucks, I would say extra, you know, if, if you're interested in collecting anything. So yeah, um, I'll give it a, about a solid nine out of 10, um, uh, for a collection. I feel like it's, it's not bad, you know, it could be a little better maybe, but definitely a good collection. So in my opinion, of course, thanks for watching.